Hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. So VeChain has now started to break out to the upside um, out of this local range. We only talked about it yesterday and I highlighted, look, we have these previous swing highs here and we haven't really been able to break above. I mean, this high maybe, but it wasn't a sustained one. So I pre presented you yesterday with this support area and explained that there is a short term bearish count, which could still be overall bullish, but ideally, the bulls avoid a sustained break below the 78.6 retracement at 1.8 cents um, because yeah any break below that on the larger time frame already indicates a lot of weakness and the same thing on the smaller time frame here locally short-term bearish scenario and short-term bullish one and there is one level that distinguishes between the two and we were holding still above support so this was this support area i introduced yesterday and the price already reacted to it and what a reaction to the 38.2 retracement here of this b wave low this was likely the b wave low and we're now dealing with a c wave in wave three i think i had it labeled like that already so it's nothing new here for you for anybody who watched yesterday's video oh, a couple of days ago can't remember when i made the video i think yesterday um because we had a potential micro five wave move up here in the three wave pullback into support so we could now be working on this c wave of wave three so this is how i how i track it i track it as a as a diagonal pattern in which we've seen waves one and two complete this it could be a third wave and then we should see another four five ideally and then we need to see what happens i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting um definitely after that five wave move another pullback should come it's important to understand that we are likely still in the third now and this is an ABC structure because the wave one, as you can see, was also an ABC structure. So we're dealing here with something that we would call in Elliott wave language, a diagonal pattern. Yeah, so wave one, wave two, and this third wave um, is now unfolding with normally, we would say first ideal target. Yeah, The first ideal target normally at the, let me just double check that measurement. Yeah, at the 138% extension, we've reached that now at 3.02 cents. But I would actually like it to go a little bit higher in this case, not only because in bullish markets, that's typically common, but also when we consider the subwave structure, we take the length of the yellow A, we go to the low of B, and then the 100% extension points to 3.6 cents. So this seems the level that this internal C wave in the third wave could reach. And it would still be, I mean, it's still a very common extension for a third wave. It would look best if the C wave was as long as or nearly as long as the A wave. So here we talk about 3.6 cents. Uh, it can always go higher, right? But that's the next milestone target, I think. At least I'd say the 3.4 cent level, which is the 178.6 extension. And then um, at some point we can add support for the wave four and wave five should then ideally still happen. Um, that's at least, what I see right now, I mean, there are alternative, even more bullish scenarios, of course, available. But I would say even this scenario points us higher. And I, all I can say is, look, we're dealing with a situation where these C waves or third wave impulses, they can always extend, right? So the best approach is to accept that and then to understand at every time, at every juncture, what is now key support. and for a impulsive move up to get an indication that it's over, the 50% retracement needs to hold. So once we get a break below it, it indicates that it indicates that some kind of a top is in. At the moment, we're holding above support. And that level could be tested at any point here between 2.73 cents and um, 2.8. But as long as we're not breaking below that 50% FIB level, the C wave can extend higher. And we constantly have to move it with the price until we get a little bit more price, uh, price structure. So that means we're looking for higher short term, possibly target to target 3.46 to 3.64 cents next. That's the update about VeChain. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.